I will be quickly showing you how to make a GIF animation in Photoshop today. I would first like to start by saying that not everyone calls it a GIF animation. The correct pronunciation is actually a GIF animation, but I don't like saying GIF, so I'm going to stick with GIF for the purpose of these tutorials. Um, so we'll start by opening up Photoshop and I'm going to create a new file, file new, and for the purpose of this assignment we are doing 800 pixels by 800 pixels, and we'll make sure that that resolution is set at 72 pixels per inch, and RGB color mode 8-bit, that's great, um, white background, that's totally fine, and then I am just going to name this um, GIF sample 1 and click OK. Alright, now we have our canvas and the next thing we need to do is set up our workspace for um, animation. So if you click over here where it says essentials, it might even say one of these other options if you have that clicked. Um, I'm going to go down to motion and select that. You'll see that now you get this timeline that pops up. You can also find the timeline under window timeline all right, so now we're ready to go, and I am going to click, make sure this drop down says create frame animation, not create video timeline, and I'm going to say click frame animation. Now we are ready to go, and I'm going to create just a really simple um, animation here. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and click and drag holding shift so that it stays the same proportionally and I am going to put this in the corner there and now I want another frame of animation so I'm going to click on this little page thing down here and it duplicates the selected frames so I'm going to click that now you'll notice that we have two frames of the exact same thing and I am going to click on this second frame and now I'm going to move the circle to this side of the screen. Now if we click on the first frame, the circle is where we put it originally. Now with the second frame, it's moved to the other side. I'm just going to do this a couple more times here and click and drag this down and then I'll do it one more time and I'm going to move the circle to the other side. Now it's really important down here at the bottom click forever instead of once that will play your animation in a loop. You can see that these are set at zero seconds which is making it go really fast so I'm going to click the first frame and then hold down shift and click the fourth frame that will select all of them and I'm going to click where it says zero seconds. I'm going to just quickly change that to a half a second. Now if I click on the first frame, it will move a lot smoother. So this is a basic GIF animation, and in the next step, I'll be showing you how to tween and do other interesting things with your GIF animations.